Good day everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Learn Invest Earn. My name is Saundarya Lakshmi Narayanan. In episode 2, part 1 of the video, I taught you a financial mantra. Risk and rewards go hand in hand in financial markets. Well, in today's video, we are going to validate this financial mantra. In order to validate this financial mantra, we need some numbers, right? So we are going to have a few assumptions. The first assumption is that after all of your expenses every month, you save rupees 10,000 every month and you are willing to invest this rupees 10,000 every month. So every year you invest rupees 120,000 and you continue this for the next 10 years. If you invest 120,000 rupees for the next 10 years in different types of investment options that we discussed in the previous two videos. We will have a small table that will help you understand the risk involved as well as the returns that you will get. Alright, if you have not watched the types of investment videos, there are part 1 and part 2 of the videos. Do click the i button above to watch part 1 and part 2 and come back here or use the link in the description so that you will have a very better understanding of the table. If you are investing 1,20,000 rupees in a savings account with a rate of return of 4%, the returns that you will get after 10 years is 14,98,362 rupees. It's usually a no risk category. Usually the rate of return for savings account is calculated every quarterly but then for the sake of simplicity I have taken it on a yearly basis. It doesn't make much difference. Okay. Next one in fixed deposits and bonds with a rate of return of 7% if you invest the same amount of money. This carries negligible risk. You will get a return of 17,74,000 rupees. Next in a PPF if you invest the same amount of money with a rate of return of 8%, it is a low risk category. You will get a return of 18,77,000. Similarly in EPF with a rate of return of 8.5%, again it's a low risk category. You will get a return of 19,31,000. In NPS, the rate of return is 9%. Again, it's a low risk category. You will get a return of 19,87,000. Next in gold, which has a rate of return of 9%, it's a moderate risk category. You will get a return of 19,87,000 similar to NPS. Next one is real estate uh, with a rate of return of 10%. It's a moderate risk category. You will get a return of 21 lakhs and 3000 rupees. Real estate price usually uh, vary depending on various factors like location of the land, demand for the property, etc. But then for the sake of simplicity, I've considered 10% returns. This is based on research reports published by real estate research firms for the past 10 years in nine biggest cities. Next for mutual funds which is again a moderate risk category has a return of 12%. We will get an amount of 23,58,000 rupees. Next is shares which is a high risk category with a rate of return of 20%. We will get 37,38,000. For shares I have taken the returns of TCS which has delivered 20% of returns in the past 10 years. Now I'm going to tell you the important learnings from the risk and rewards table. Savings account and fixed deposits will not put you in a comfortable financial situation in the future. Bonds will help you gain some amount of returns but then it does not save a lot of money. PPF and NPS will make sure you get very good returns. The interest that you get on a PPF account is fully tax free. Not withdrawing your money from your EPF account will make sure you earn a fortune in the future. Investing in gold is very good and it gives good returns but there are other investment options which gives better returns. Investing in real estate can give you good returns but then it has a problem of high initial investment, location of the property and demand for the property. Mutual funds will help you get a very good rate of return and will put you in a comfortable financial position in the future. Shares will help you reach all of your financial goals and has higher returns compared to all other investment types. There are other investment types like IPO, small cases, equity SIPs that we are going to discuss in depth in the upcoming episodes. By now I'm pretty sure you would have selected the investment type which is suitable for you and your risk appetite. Before starting a machine in a factory, we have certain checklists, right? Similarly, before starting our first investment, we should have certain checklists. Don't worry about asking so many questions to yourself before doing your first investment. I will help you with the checklist. We'll be looking into the checklist for investing in the next video. Before that, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Also comment below what do you think about risk and rewards go hand in hand in financial markets. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.